हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शैल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द यूज ऑफ प्रेजेंटेंस इन सेंटेंसेज वी हैव लर्न अर्लियर दैट द वर्ब फॉर्म टेल्स अस नॉट ओनली द टाइम ऑफ द एक्शन बट ऑल्सो द स्टेटस ऑफ द एक्शन वेदर द एक्शन वॉज कम्प्लीट एट द टाइम ऑफ स्पीकिंग Now let us read the following sentences. They write their account books on Sundays. I do not write with fountain pens. Do you write poetry? What do you notice in these sentences? Number 1 that all the sentences refer either to an action that is happening at the moment of speaking or something is being said about a regular happening. For example, the sentence they write their account book on sundays is a regular happening it happens every sunday the sentences also show that nothing is being revealed about the completeness or incompleteness of the action such sentences where we do not know whether the action has become complete or it still remains incomplete is said to be in simple present tense now let us see where the simple present form or the simple present tense is used number 1 it is used to express a habitual action a routine action or a habit an example is she travels to office by bus this is a routine action number 2 to express a fact that is true at the time of speaking let us see this example there is no light at all here this sentence is expressing a fact that is true at the time of the speaker saying this number 3 to express a future event which is already arranged at the time of speaking an example is the wedding is on coming saturday it may seem that it is a future time the coming saturday but the form is simple present when the speaker is speaking the sentence he is speaking at the moment about an event which is to come at some future time and this future time and the event is decided so the sentence the wedding is on coming saturday is in simple present form let us read these sentences he is eating the child is not crying is she studying what do we notice in these sentences number 1 we notice that the action is going on at the time of speaking when the speaker is speaking someone is eating the child is not crying and the speaker is asking whether someone is studying at the moment of speaking we also notice that we do not know when these actions began 
or when they would end. These sentences or such sentences are said to be in present continuous tense. They are in the present context when the speaker is speaking and they are continuous that is we do not know when the referred action began or when it would end. Now let us see where the present continuous tenses are used. They are used to describe an action that is going on at the time of speaking. An example is, I am drinking tea. It is also used to describe an action that is not necessarily taking place at the time of speaking but which has relevance to the present. For example, see the sentence. They are building a hospital there. Present continuous tense is also used to show an action that is almost certain to take place in the near future. For example, we are going to Delhi next week. Let us read the following sentences. He has washed the dishes. She has not finished her homework. Have I shown you my English book? What do we notice in these sentences? We notice that these sentences refer to actions that have been completed at the moment of speaking. They are called present perfect. The word perfect here means completed. Now let us learn where the present perfect tense is used. They are used to show completed events at the time of speaking but whose exact moment of completion is not known. Let us see the sentence. I have lent my book to Rishi. Here, the action of lending has been completed, but we do not know the exact time when this completion took place. Present perfect is also used to show an action that has just been completed and the action has some connection with the present. Let us read this sentence. His train has reached the platform. The action of reaching the platform has just been completed and the statement of the speaker is somehow connected with the present that is at the moment of speaking. Let us read the following sentences. We have been going to the gym regularly. My dog has not been eating well in the past few days. Has he been attending classes all these months? What do we notice in these sentences? We see that these sentences refer to actions that started in the past but are still going on at the time of speaking, that is, an incident that is both completed and continuing. 
such sentences are said to be in the present perfect continuous tense they are perfect because they include the character of being completed as well as continuing at the present moment when they are being spoken a present perfect continuous sentence is formed by a verb form followed by ing which is followed by has been or have been depending upon whether the subject is singular or plural based on what we have learned just now about the present tense here are some examples of incorrect sentences that we hear in common use my father is having three shirts is an incorrect sentence the correct sentence would be my father has three shirts this is because here the sentence is expressing a fact that is true at the time of speaking therefore it would be in simple perfect tense another sentence is he is knowing five languages this is incorrect we don't have to use the present continuous tense here what is required is simple present tense because this is a statement that is true at the time of speaking and has nothing to do with continuity of the action another sentence is i am not understanding what she is saying again this is an incorrect sentence the correct sentence would be i don't understand what she is saying or i can't understand what she is saying the fourth sentence is it is raining for the last 3 days the correct sentence would be it has been raining for the last 3 days the reason is that the sentence specifies an action of raining that began at a particular time that is last 3 days rather 3 days back so the correct sentence would be it has been raining for the last 3 days and not it is raining for the last 3 days time now let us recap what we have learned in this module in this module we learned the present tense and its four forms we also learned the usage of the four forms of present tense thank you